hey guys welcome back to my channel for the ones who have been here before and welcome to the ones who have not my name is Janae and I am the owner of confidently you creations um, so I'm so excited for today's video because I get a chance to show you guys one of the pattern vinyls from our website um, that has been super popular um, ever since it came out um, so I will link everything in the description box for you guys to check out um, our pattern vinyl looks like this that we're going to be using today. It is called Tropical Triangles, which is on our website. Um, and then it has some palm leaves also on the back. I know all the lighting and the filter and all that stuff, you can't really see the actual design. But here's a picture of it here. Um, Tech Wraps sent me some vinyl um, that they wanted me to try out. And I do not recommend anything that I haven't tried haven't used myself and I use this vinyl um, the vinyl that is on the back of the tumblers and it was absolutely amazing to use so I have a discount code for you guys um, for tech wrap so you can save and see how amazing the vinyl is also um, so don't forget again to check out our website for our patterns like the one that we're going to be using in this video and some other designs that we have and some that are dropping on the website also very soon um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to put them down in the comment section and I will get to them as soon as I can. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get started on today's tutorial. Alrighty guys, as always, we're gonna start off with a fully sanded and prepped tumbler. This is a 30 ounce skinny tumbler from the Stainless Steel Depot, and I have spray painted it rustic pink. I will link all that down in the description box for you guys to check it out. And today we're gonna to be using a pattern vinyl from our um, website. Um, this has been a very, very popular design, um, and it is called Tropical Triangles, and you can find it on our website at confidentlyucreations.com. And again, I'll link that down in the description box. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to measure the circumference of your tumbler. Um, this one was a little bit less than 10 inches, so um, you can mark it off as like five inches it'll be obviously a little bit more than um half but that's okay um just go ahead and mark your measurements of half of your tumbler on the vinyl sheet and um you want to try to do even um like an even number not an even number but like one two three four five six seven um as far as your um your cut goes because it can be a little bit off if you're like at 4.75 um it won't um like your lines won't be straight when you go to place your vinyl strips so try to use um at an exact number um so like five i would use here um, so go ahead and cut your vinyl strips or your your vinyl and then you want to go ahead and mark off the cutoff line for the top so i'm going to go ahead and do that as well give yourself just a little bit of wiggle room just in case um, you didn't place it on there um, all the way at the bottom so after that um, this is an easier way to place your vinyl to make sure it's straight get a piece of painters tape and place it going down your tumbler therefore when you go to place your vinyl it'll be straight okay um, this is just a little tip or trick some of you guys may already have seen it done but it's just a lot easier doing it this way and then once you get it on there nice and straight you could take off your painters tape make sure to keep the backing on your um, on your vinyl therefore to avoid like bubbles air pockets and things like that I had took it off um, all the way <clears throat> because I had laid this on there the regular way without using the painters tape but I wanted to show you guys um, an easier way to do it so um, I took the vinyl off and then shot you know re recorded with the vinyl with the painters tape excuse me so keep your paper backing on the back of this and then do this part 
just gently rolling that paper backing off. Hopefully that makes sense. But it also shows the um, the quality of the vinyl because I placed it on already and then I took it off and it didn't tear, it didn't rip, it didn't create air bubbles or anything like that. So there you go, a quick review. <laughs> Um, so if you do have any air bubbles, um, you just can take your crafting knife and put a small hole in it and then um, burnish it out if you did. So the next step, we're going to fold over our um, vinyl over the top of the rim because we're going to want to go ahead and cut that excess amount off. Um, make sure your crafting knife is sharp. I made sure mine was sharp today because y'all know I'm always working with a dull knife <laughs> trying to get as much longevity out of the materials because this can get you know stuff can just really add up nowadays with shipping and the COVID stuff <sighs> ain't nobody got time for that so but I did have a sharp knife today because I knew that I was going to need it so once you trim off the um, excess on the top um, you can actually go ahead and do your bottom as well. So just be careful not to rip it or um, uh, you, the top part because you don't want to, you know, rip your vinyl. So I actually have my cup cutting tool that I love so much. It's so much easier to use than using the painter's tape, which it still works if you don't have one of these. So what you're going to do is just going to roll um, the cup around. My phone died. My bad, y'all. Um, but this is the outcome of it once you roll it around the bottom part of that um, blade. It is. It works wonders. So after that, I went ahead and placed my two coats of um, epoxy. I added some shine, of course. I used Bright from Peachy Olive Glitters to my first um, coat. And then I went in with the second coat, just a regular, you know, didn't add any glitter to the second coat of epoxy. Letting each, you know, layer dry, it's like six hours in between, okay? So, um, I went ahead and cut out some images from Cricut Design Space. I just searched palm leaves and I got these um, images that I really liked. So I went ahead and cut two of each out um, and then I'm going to place them on the back of this tumbler. If you have any questions about how I lay my epoxy, just let me know. Um, but I can link a video at the top right of your screen here to show you how I actually um, place my epoxy on, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, place my palm leaves on this cup. And let me tell you, this vinyl is from um, Tech Wraps. And I absolutely love this vinyl. I think I'm going to start buying Tech Wrap vinyl for everything because it was amazing. Like, look how it just comes off like butter on this uh, transfer paper. I struggle with Cricut um um, vinyl on the transfer paper for some odd reason but I don't know if it's because the the tech wraps is like a more matte but it just didn't matter how many times I reused this same um, transfer paper it came off like butter each and every time so I absolutely love tech wraps vinyl and I am going to link the discount code for you guys in the description box I tried it out um, a couple of times and I really do like the vinyl. So I want you guys to enjoy a discount uh, with Tech Wraps um, as well. See, look, I'm using Cricut. This white one is from Cricut and I had to do it several times. Like y'all are my witness, right? So y'all see this, like I'm struggling with the white Cricut one and I did not struggle at all with the green, blue or pink one from Tech Wraps. So I'm switching completely. <laughs> But um, anyway, so you're just going to place your palm leaves on the back of this. No rhyme or reason, just kind of layering, layering it back and forth. Look, watch, watch, watch out. Boom. <laughs> it just, I did not have to struggle with this at all. Like the feel of it, the look of it, I, I love it. Um, and I've reused this, I, this same one over and over again. So anyways... Um, the last white one that I had was a little bit too big, like the white palm leaf. So I went out um, afterwards and I printed out another one that was slightly smaller because it didn't fit. 
So um, I wanted to create something a little bit more neutral, something a little bit more natural looking um, for spring. Not everybody likes bright pink colors and purple. So I thought this was a perfect combination of colors. So once I am done with that, I'm going to go in and just weed out, weed out any um, excess um, areas of vinyl that didn't come off um, while I was weeding it the first time. Um, <clears throat> this is called reverse weeding, I think. But anyways, I'm just going to get those little bitty pieces of vinyl. And now um, I'm going to place on the other white palm leaf and then I'm going to place on the decal um, for the front so this good vibe only decal was from creative fabrica and again I will link that down in the description box because you can sign up for only a dollar for the first month and you will have access to like millions of fonts and images and all that fun stuff um, for only a dollar you could probably get this image off of Etsy for like four dollars you know what i mean so for just one dollar you have access to everything and then it renews for only 19 dollars um typically it's 29 so enjoy that so first i cut out um the actual um, decal and then i created an offset for it um the offset was 0 0.10 and I'm gonna use my Cricut mat to make this process a little easier, ignore all the glitter on it, don't judge me. Um, so I'm placing the offset on it first to where it doesn't lift up and move like it would be on the countertop. Look at that, look at that, boom. <laughs> I just love it so much, y'all. Alrighty, so um, I don't know why Cricut places white vinyl on the white backing it's so hard to like see it so you'll see me struggle a little bit trying to um maneuver this to make sure it's straight on the white um offset but just kind of work with it a little bit until you can um get it lined up some people use parchment paper but i just kind of took the light away and then i could see it a little bit better so go ahead and take it off of your um, your um, your mat, and then go ahead and finish burning burnishing it. And um, we're gonna go ahead and place it on the cup in just a minute. So I'm gonna cut off um, a little bit of the paper backing to have more of an anchor, so where we can line it up straight on this cup. As always, you want to make sure your decal is even. So I wanted it to be about an inch from both sides. Um, so I'm gonna move it around a little bit until I have it even in the middle. Once it was even, um, it did measure about an inch from the tip of the D and then an inch from the beginning of the G, which was perfect for me. And then um, I'm gonna measure the top to make sure it's not leaning um off to the left or leaning off to the right so it is going to be two and a half two and a half um each i guess direction the the beginning the middle and the end but y'all see me do this before just to make sure the image is not at a slippery slope as i call it so now i'm measuring it again and it is two and a half all around or at the beginning middle and the end so now I'm going to use the hinge method and as you can see with the Cricut uh, vinyl it just it just does not want to come off on the transfer paper so I am switching to tech wraps sorry Cricut <laughs> but ain't nobody got time to struggle with you so once you um, peel it off of the back you're going to go ahead and cut off half of this image and to do this we do this because we don't want the image to move around we work so hard to get it perfect in the middle and make sure it's not at a slippery slope so we're going to use the hinge method to place one side on first and then do the same thing to the other side okay and then it helps also with air bubbles you don't get any air bubbles also so peel that bad boy off and then we have our good vibes only decal on the front so now i'm going to do the um that last little palm leaf for the top because it was a little naked up there and i know i wanted two of each palm leaf on the um the tumbler i couldn't fit the extra green one but that's okay i really didn't have a green on the front of the 
pattern vinyl, but um, I just like the neutral and natural look of it. So once I get that on there, I'm just going to place that um, right across my nude colored one and we are done with our palm leaves. Okay, I like it a lot. I like it, I like it. So now we're going to sand our rim. You've seen me do that before, so I'll do that off camera. But um, yeah, so now we are back and I have a lot of washi tapes. So I just went through them and I found this one that was absolutely perfect and it matched that aqua bluish color, tealish, turquoise. I'm not really good with those colors, but yeah it matched perfectly with the pattern vinyl and the palm leaves um you can find these on amazon i think i got mine from like aliexpress it came as like a whole bunch of whole bunch in a pack um so you're going to line it up to make sure it is straight with your um your pattern vinyl and then you're going to do the same thing to the other side so play around with it until you get it um, exactly straight. You don't want it to be leaning one direction or the other. Um, so yeah, just play around with it until you can get it absolutely straight. All right, and so now we're gonna do the same thing at the bottom here. We're gonna place a small strip um, to cover up the line at the bottom. And then take our crafting knife and even out those cuts. All right, and at the top, you wanna to make sure to trim it right there at that line that you sanded and expose that thin line of stainless steel. And then with washi tape, you want to seal it with something. So I did use Mod Podge for my vinyl strips. Um, it placed it and, and sealed it with that, let that dry. And then I went in with two coats of epoxy and uh, let those dry for like six hours in between. And here is the final result, guys. Like this tumbler was absolutely so fun to make. Um, I love the neutral colors in it and it just kind of gives me a tropical vibe. Uh, well, good vibes, right? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for staying and watching to the end of this video. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed um, our video or just kind of like the tumbler all together. Um, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We upload every Friday, at least we try to. Um, so see you guys next week. Bye.